Okay, after we know everything, know the spare part function, and also learn the using learn the video clearly, we first understand the printer. Then we can start to power on the machine. Before power on the machine, we must be sure that we open the cover. We must be sure the carriage, the buckle is cut down ready, and the carriage can move by hand from left to right clearly without any C is dangerous. So we must be sure this also eclipses the metal also stick on the surface of the film without bending the film. The back the both side also. If not, they become dangerous good problem. So we must be sure left to right here also stick ready to prevent the film bending up to scratch the print head. Like this. The, the, the stainless steel on the top of the film to prevent the film bending up. Then we move the carriage freely. We are not scratch the cover or the carriage freely. Also be sure the cover edge will not scratch the film or table. And the cap station is moving down already. The cap station is moving, moving down by load the knob already. See it's freely. And then the film is loaded already. Because right now it's loose and because it must be not installed back the screw. For safety, let's lock the back, the, the cover to adjust the good position to prevent the print head scratch. Like this. There are three screws at the left and three screws at the right for both sides to be sure the safety gap between the fuel and carriage freely. And also there's nothing to stay on the surface of the fuel to scratch, to block the print head carriage moving. Then we move the catch to the middle. And now we just uh, start to power on the machine without install the print head and without load, without load ink. We just uh, power on and check the motion of the printer. So first we connect the power to the printer. We find our power cable at the left of the machine and we keep to zero and we then give the power to printer. And also before we power on the machine, you must be sure the machine is 220 voltage or 110 voltage. Please do not give the wrong power to the machine. If you give 220 to 110 configuration, then the machine will get shot. And also be sure your plug is safety. Then we can start to power on the machine. We open the general power switch. Then the print will start to power on. The carriage move to home position. And the sucking one Q sucking table, the fan is working. Then it goes to home position. And then we check the function for each. Then we go to open the cover and we move the carriage to the left. Then we check with the cap station moving down and the carriage starts to move. It's working well. Then go to right. It's working well, and then we go to fit the film.
Let me check the image's power switch. It's working well. When you push down, the machine start to stay up testing power again to do the auto processing, then go back to zero position. The capsule is then moving up. Then we check the loading up system, the backward, forward working. We press up mode, down option. We check if the, the film go to the front, it's working. And then we go to up, to backward film, it's working. So, the control panel is working well. Then we check the white ink processing system. Okay, then we check the white ink processing system. First, we open the white ink steering system. And then we can adjust the speed. And when we open it, we can see the white ink shaking system is working. It's become shaking to prevent the white ink settling. It's working well. The motor inside. Then we check the wet ink secretion. We open it. And we can check the pump inside for secretion. It's working. We can hear the sound. But we need to load ink later to check if it's um, working well. So the electronic system is working. So after we check all the functions working well, for the bank suction, or suction, and for carriage move, carriage movement, also for the table, backward, forward, images button switch is working well. The wet ink, the steering and wet ink secretion are working well. And also after the power on, then the screen show ready here, ready. That means the printer is working well. Power on succeed. Then we can start to the next step to test. The, the powder processing system. Okay, then we start to test the powder processing system is working well or not before we load the ink and the print head, insert print head. So first we find out the general power cable and also be sure that the configuration is 110 voltage or 220 voltage before you power on the powder processing system. For example, this machine is built under 220 voltage, 220 voltage, I just uh, plug the cable and also connect the device system power. Connect to the print, connect to the system. And then we open the general power switch over here, first one. And then we test the dusting system is working well or not. We open the second switch. Then we go to check if here is moving or not. It's moving. And then we check. Then we go back to the, the film, to the control panel. And we check the dusting speed. Adjust, we adjust the, the dusting speed. We check if it's uh, speed moving up or not. Then we go back to the device. Here we can check the speed, we can adjust the from slow speed to high speed. So it's working well. Then we check another option, the powder shaking system, number three switch. We open it, we can check it start to shaking. And also we can adjust the speed, slow speed or fast speed. We can adjust this knob. It's working well. Then we check another switch, the curing, the baking switch. We open it. 
and we can see the the baking temperature controller is work is working. And then we go move up the trainer. We can see here the heating is working. We have we have hot hair coming out. But please do not touch the glass trainer by by your finger. Otherwise, we are got hurt. For waiting for about one minute, then the temperature will be moving up to go to the setting temperature, 100, 100 degree to to warm up the temperature. Once we check the baking system have the temperature moving up, that means the the curing system is working. Okay, then we test uh, the the paper feed up system is working well or not. Before we power on and test, we must be sure the film is to go to the downside and it ready the downside to touch the bottom metal and also already covered the sensor here. There's a sensor here. The sensor, the paper detect sensor here. And the film already covered the sensor, otherwise the low up system will not working. After we load, be sure the film to the bottom ready. And then we can start to power on and test. Then we power on, connect the power, and we power on the general power switch for the power processing system. And we can see here, the film starts loading. Once the, once the film, the sensor not detect, they will stop. So that means the device, load up device is working well. And must be sure the load action is by this way, by this way to load up. Cannot by this way. This way is to release. We must load up the film by the clockwise version, clockwise direction. And here we can also adjust the, the direction. We must move to up, move to up for for close for clockwise option direction. If we here for close push down is for for unclockwise direction. So you just move up, and then it, it once it detect once the sensor detect, they will start to loading loading up, and if not detect, they will stop. This so this is automatic motion. So when it's not when it's not load up, you need to check sensor or check the, the film is already load up or not. So when it, so when it's not not loading up, it not means it's broken, but means the film is already load up. No balance film inside uh, no balance film inside the system. That means it's working well. And when start printing, also be automatically to loading up. We just to check if it's power have power or not. The power cable connect ready. And the switch here is switch to switch to switch to up. And power power general power is on for the power supply system. So if working all are working well, that means the power processing system is working well.